today, this is Firefly Capyright. We're going to talk about after surgery. After surgery. What's to follow? After surgery and what to follow. I had my surgery the 21st. And you can see the big old zipper in my chest. They had to go in and do open heart surgery and take out an aneurysm. And it was uh, probably the worst thing in the world. It was uh, like I went to go see God for a little bit, but it was a blink of an eye. <clears throat> my family was there to uh, see when I woke up how I would look. And I'll put a picture in there too. Um, I was under anesthesia still, a tube down my throat, and this was the, in the ICU. Uh, my father asked me questions, or asked the doctor questions about how my surgery went, and it was interesting. The doctor was like, it went really well, or so, you know, uh, reacted well to everything, although he started dissecting. So when the doctor was opening me up, my aneurysm, five centimeters, was actually dissecting. So it was in the process of starting to rupture. Um, that being said, if I didn't take this earlier appointment, the 21st opposed to the 27th, I took the 21st, uh, the doctor said I wouldn't have made it. So now my aneurysm's fixed. I have this zipper in my chest. As you can see, I do hurt everywhere. So right now I'm in this recovery unit, which is really good. They're uh, taking care of me. They're giving me, you know, vitamins, uh, painkillers, having me sleep, and I have a view of my little city, San Francisco. So, not bad. But people that are going through this, you know, uh, you have to have faith in the system and find the doctor that works best for you. So it took me a long time. I went to my doctor in San Francisco. I could uh, answer more of your questions down below. Um, but basically, you know, surgery, five hours, and the doctor works on you. Basically in a room that, you know, it's a clean room. I went in there, they put me in anesthesia pretty quick, and I was out of it, out of it. In fact, one of the nurses take me in, knew me from growing up, which is kind of crazy. It's a small world. I live in San Jose. I had my surgery in San Francisco. Um, I'm 45, and like I said, who's your best advocate? You are. So. What I did is I uh, you know, started talking to everybody. They just put me under, under anesthesia. Woke up, you know, and I was in ICU. My dad, you know, told me the, the things he heard, he's heard from the doctor, and that was kind of shocking. You know, um, possibly having this aneurysm starting to dissect. And I just kind of went from there. Um, in the ICU, started to recover. They watched over me very, like, tightly with the nurse in the room the whole time. You had your own room, and that was a way so to make sure you're gonna survive, that everything grafts good. <clears throat> After that, they moved me down to this uh, one north, and it's like a recovery ward, and they watch you for several days. They get you rehabilitated where you can actually get up and walk, because they want you to walk right away. So. They teach you how to walk, uh, work in, in the tube, meaning don't stick your hands out. Keep your hands within a tube formation around your body. And, uh, you know, don't push your shoulders. And walking's hard, breathing's hard. They give you a spirometer. I don't even know if this is the right, but you have this thing to breathe on like this. You try to get up like past a thousand. And they give you like very lean foods, low sodium, and uh, all of that. All that definitely helped me out. Um, they weigh you each day. The pain medication is like Dilaudid mixed with like, you know, they give you some strong stuff. Anyway, uh, that's where I'm at right now. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you. and. This is fire for the Caffarata.